Hi friends, it's me, Ali, your friendly neighborhood Chanel expert. This is Ask a Chanel Expert, where I talk about my expertise with the brand. But today we're talking about a Coco goes to work look. When you work for the brand, you have to have a full face of makeup as part of your uniform. And today I thought I would recreate some of my, or one of my go-to looks for the counter. And I'll talk you through why I'm using each product. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I've already done a couple videos in this series, but today we're focusing solely on makeup because you may not know this, but when you work for Chanel, a full face of makeup is part of your uniform. Not only your clothing uniform, but your nails and your makeup. When you sign that contract, you are stating you're going to wear foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, blush, powder, the whole shebang. So I'm going to uh, show you which items I used the most. Now, some of these items, they were not available when I was working for the brand, but I would have, <laughs> if I was still at the counter, I would be wearing these and I'll explain why. The first step for me is eyeshadow. And this is the Tissé Vendôme. This is number 204. Now, when you look at this, you may think, that you see this orange shade first. I beg to differ. It's actually more of a peach. This is Chanel after all, not Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this palette offers beautiful, luminous, more neutral colors. So today we're going to focus on a beautiful eyeshadow look that looks like eyeshadow without being too intense. Because even though we were required to wear makeup, it is Chanel after all. You don't have to look like you're wearing makeup. It just has to be there in a very subtle and beautiful way. And the brushes that I'm using, everything that I'm wearing is listed in the description box down below. I'm starting off with this dual ended blender and shader brush, and I'm going into this color here. And I will be quite liberal with this color here. It's a soft color. I love the Tissé series. As you can see, it's luminous. It isn't a hard matte. It's going to give you some softness and some light to your look without veering into any chunky glitter category. And I remember when I was at the counter, uh, most of my clients were easily twice my age. Most of my clients were in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, women who wanted to wear makeup, but they couldn't wear something tacky or flashy, but still wanted to get that brightness on the eye. And you can see I'm dipping in here. I'm adding more in the crease, but it doesn't look too dark. You know, we're adding some definition, but it doesn't look too heavy. And I may have scared some of you away before by with the full face of makeup. You know, you sign your name here, but it's a full face of Chanel, which means you're, still, you're just going to look elegant. You're going to look put together and you are technically wearing a full face of makeup, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look heavier, cakey by any means. Dipping back into the same palette, I'm using a different dual ended brush. This one is more tapered. It's more for defining and adding lots of precision. So I'm going into the darkest color here and this one can be a little bit darker. So I'm going to focus this on the outer corner just to add a bit of depth. You could go heavy with this, but today we're just going to blend it lightly in the outer corner here. And if it's too dark, we can go in with our blending brush. Mm. I appear to have put some eyeshadow on my cheek. I don't know how that happened, but sometimes makeup finds a way. I swear makeup has a life of its own. It will find a way. So we're just adding a little bit of this. I actually, this is my second palette of Tissé Vendôme that I owned. The first one that I owned, I hit pan, like I hit pan on the colors. I have quite an extensive collection. So you can imagine how much I would have to love a palette in order to use it all up. And the reason I would use Tissé Vendôme for work on an almost daily basis 
is because the colors are just very easy, very user-friendly. I would almost always skip that bright peach color and I would just go into neutral colors like this because they just worked easily, quickly. I didn't really have to think anything through. Depending on the season, I might wear a different blush or a different lip color if we had a different promotion, but I almost always wore this palette here. There's a couple other ones that I would wear almost every day, and I had to do this in the morning while drinking my coffee, and it almost acted like muscle memory. You know, my hands just did the work for me early in the morning. I'm just taking that same color, and I'm taking it on the bottom lashes here, just like this going to act as bottom liner. Now I'm going to go into a black waterproof liner. I like the number 88 because it's just the most intense black. And what I'll do, like this is it here, I will go in the top waterline just to tight line my eyes. This makes the lash bed look thicker because one thing about Chanel, they do not have false lashes. So you are not asked or expected to wear false lashes at the counter, but it's good to have good lashes. So if you take your waterproof liner like this, I know it looks a bit strange, it will make your lashes look thicker and more dense. So when you do go into your mascara in a moment, it will look better. I added some black mascara here. So if we look just at the eyes here, it looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but it doesn't, but it does because these colors are so soft and the texture and the finish is very soft as well. So it almost melts into the skin. You can tell I have eye makeup on, but I don't, but I really do. So that's why I go with Tissé Vendôme. It's so easy. I might add a little bit of um, a lighter color or peach at the end, but we'll see. Next up, I'm going to go into a newer product here. This is the Sublimage Le Concentré Lumière. This is a beautiful liquid highlighter. So highlighter is part of a full makeup look, but I like to wear liquid highlighter and I like to wear it underneath my makeup, just like this. I like to use it as a primer really and the reason i like this one is because i find it to be hydrating and luminous and it gives me that lit from within glow it doesn't look like highlighter on top of my face it just looks like i have very healthy skin now i'm going into the sublimage l'essence de teint this is a liquid serum foundation in the shade b30 back in the day i would have used perfection lumière this was a gorgeous foundation. I think I still have a bottle, actually. I haven't had the heart to throw it out. This is this one here. This was a pretty medium to full coverage foundation. And then I, I wanted something that was long wearing, that covered quite a bit and would just be long lasting all day. I am going in to substitute this one here, the um, Sublimage foundation, because I find that it offers a nice level of coverage but it looks natural. It gives me a soft, velvet, luminous finish. It's a little radiant, but not too much. It doesn't look like a greasy disco ball by any means, but it just looks beautiful. It looks like my skin, but so much better. And with more coverage, this brush here is the Touch Up Face Brush. And as you can see, I'm mixing the highlighter and the foundation together. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Why bother doing two steps when you can just do one? And this foundation here is long lasting. It's going to last an eight hour shift when you're literally running around and getting like 10,000 steps minimum, running over here, running over there, especially over the holidays. Everyone's coming in, you have to gift wrap, you have to run to the back room to look for a sample. So this foundation just holds up, but it doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey, it looks beautiful, but it will last as long as you last, you know? You're not going to get any fading, nothing's going to fall apart, you know, almost looks like sometimes some foundations just disappear 
as your day wears on, not this one. Back in my day, my concealer would have been the corrector concealer. I went through several of these. However, uh, in the past year or so, Chanel has come out with the Sublimage concealer, which is part of the Sublimage skincare line, but infused into the concealer. It covers way more. I'm using the shade 32 because it has a little bit of a peachy cut. So let's say it's a long day. It's been a series of long days. You want a little bit of that peach to cut through any dark circles. Like we're all human. We have dark circles. We have wrinkles. We have peach fuzz. It's part of the human condition. And I love this one. This one, this concealer is, it's very expensive, but my goodness, it is worth every single ounce, every single drop. You need very little. Once you blend this out, it does not crease, it does not budge, it does not fade. It literally looks luminous and hydrating the entire day. You know, if you're working on your feet and you're, you have a public facing job, you cannot afford to have concealer that makes you look more tired halfway through the day where you have to like do this thing to touch it up. This one doesn't like, it just stays in place. It never creases. It's wonderful. So even though it is very pricey for this line of work, it is 100% perfect and definitely worth it. So I'm just going to use a separate brush here. This is the blender and concealer brush. I'm just going to blend this out and I'm going to take a little bit of what's on the brush here and just bring it into the inner corner just to brighten that up as well. Now I'm going into a little bit of bronzer. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream Bronzer and I, I'm using the Kabuki brush. This is my favorite for the bronzer and I'm just adding a little bit. Listen, it's December. I live in Montreal. I don't need to look like a Le Beige sun-kissed glow. It's more just to add some color and this is technically wearing a full face. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Like it's, it just looks healthy and luminous, which is part of the Le Beige. Because the texture is cream, it melts into the skin and just looks even more natural. So even though I'm layering lots of different products on my face, it doesn't look like I have tons on my face. I'm going to add a bit of powder just to set it and leave it for the day. This is the Universal Loose Powder. I'm using the shade number 30. They have a translucent shade, they have different colors as well. So I think I'll just do this. I'll use the puff that it comes with. And I'll just be very extra. I'm just going to put a little bit in the center of my face just to mattify a bit. Go a little bit under the eye and then under the cheekbone for a little mini micro contour. I'm just going underneath where I put the bronzer like this and then just in the center make sure everything stays. I like the loose powder because it's very very finely milled. It's very silky. It looks natural. It doesn't again it doesn't look like a heavy layer on my face. Now for this touch here I'm going into a blush Sadly, this is the old version of the blush. This is number 80 Jersey, which used to be my favorite. I mean, this one technically is my favorite, but this is the old formula. The new blush formula is not my favorite. I'll be the first to admit it. It's just, it's too dry. Like it's a, a baked blush, but it's like they biscottied the blush because it's like twice baked. And it's, I find that the new formula is hard and has red underneath. Like it's not my favorite, so I'm using my old Jersey blush. It's just very, very pretty. And I'm using the blush brush from the brand. It's at an angle like this. It's perfect for blush. Normally, I would say I go for Jersey because it's a beautiful, neutral, slight peach blush. It's one of those blushes that historically would go almost with any look. It was just like my my no-brainer blush jersey didn't have to think about it didn't have to plan on coordinating it with this eye and this lip just this one here out the door if you have the old formula hold on to it for dear life otherwise 
I think you may need to go to a separate counter for the blush. I'm sorry. I know that this will sound like sacrilege, but I would just go next door to uh, Christian Dior and I would get this blush here instead, number 459 Charnel. It's going to give you that very similar type of neutral, slight luminous blush that's not too warm, not too cool, just sort of goes with everything. So get this one instead. For the lips, I need something long lasting and long wearing. So I'm going to go into a lip liner first and I'm going to fill in my lips completely. I'm using the shade 172 Bois de Rose. It's a beautiful, soft, pinky, nudie liner. Filling your lip in completely like this will make your lipstick last several hours. It's going to be bulletproof. And then I've always been a huge fan of the Rouge Allure lipsticks, these ones here with a the click. They're a satin classic bullet formula, but they're very long lasting. And I'm going into the shade 198 Nuance. I want something kind of easy, passepartout, kind of neutral, but with some color to it that's just going to pull the whole look together. If you add the liner and then the lipstick on top like this, you can finish your coffee, you can drink water throughout the day, and it won't fade. Like, yes, after eight hours, you're going to have to do some touch-ups, but in principle, it's just going to last much longer. Now, for fragrance, I would just wear perfume at the counter. I wouldn't bother putting perfume on at home. I would just get to the counter and then pick whatever, you know, suited my fancy. I think today I'm gonna to go into Allure, and yeah, I have Allure. This is the Eau de Parfum. It smells gorgeous. It's this one here and it's it looks kind of warm, kind of brown. I think that this is going to fit the look here, the mood. Just like this. I also have the hair mist that I considered putting on. That's the hair mist here, which is really nice. It smells like Allure, but just a little bit softer. And then when people come in to give you a hug, they're like, you smell so good and you're like, yes, it's Allure. It smells lovely. It's funny because here in Canada, we have the Allure Sensuel, the sensual version, which is interesting because I think of Allure as being a very, a very sensual perfume on its own. But anyway, this is what Coco wears to work. Coco wears to the office. Uh, bonjour et bienvenue chez Chanel. Comment je peux vous aider? Uh, so let me know what you think of today's look. I have other palettes, other products that I, were literally just muscle memory, just like in the morning. You know, I, I would give myself like 45 minutes, shower, eat, get dressed, makeup. And so everything was pretty uh, boom, 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 but it worked. And let me know what you think. I can do more looks like this. And perhaps next time I can do a layer of skincare live with you as well because i did do a very intensive skincare video in this series but i could maybe do a skincare application demo with you next time i do a look like this as always make sure you're subscribed make sure you like the video and make sure your notification bell is set to on and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what else you want to see in this series anything in particular, any um, topics of conversation or subject matter, let me know in the comments. And I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.